Thanks for staying with us. We're on the set now with Sandra Perry, who has written a book about a heron, and we have the heron right here with us, well, at least an image of it. Um, tell us about this book, uh, the title of your book, and how you came to write this. Well, this book is called The Most Unusual Pet Ever, and it's about this guy right here. Uh, we've named him Henry, and he is a great blue heron. Uh, it all started about a uh, little over seven years ago. We had just put in uh, two ponds and put nice koi in there, stocked it real nice. I uh, had some real beautiful fish. And all of a sudden, one afternoon, or actually morning, um, uh, this bird, this huge bird, and I had no idea what type of bird it was, uh, landed in our yard over at the ponds. This is in San Ramon. This is in San Ramon. We live in a regular neighborhood. Uh, and uh, there he was. So uh, my first thought was, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> so I did run to get my bird identification book to figure out what in the world had just happened. Um, and as I'm doing that, I noticed that he is very interested in the pond and he starts eating the fish. And so what that led to was a week of shooing him away from the pond. And uh, he kept coming back. So uh, he pretty much had eaten half the fish in the mm -hmm. pond by that time. And we decided, uh, wow, this bird, you know, he's really interesting. He keeps coming back. It doesn't look like he's interested in going away anytime soon. So we uh, went to the store and bought him a trout. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it started with kind of a single fish. Yes, it started with mm -hmm. one fish. And uh, again, here we are seven and a half years later. Mm -hmm. And um, he's become a, a pet, basically. Mm -hmm. He is a very unusual pet in that um, you, know, you can't take him to the vet, you can't pet him, he'll never come into the house. Uh, but there he is almost every morning mm -hmm. at my back door. And you thought, this, this has to be a children's book. This, <laughs> How many years did it take before you thought about that? Well, what was happening, um, two things simultaneously. Um, he, it had been going on about three or four years, and uh, watching him... Okay. I think we're showing pictures, or we should be showing pictures of, of, okay. of um, the heron as we're chatting, so I just, I just wanted to mention that, yeah. Great, yeah, he's, uh, he's very visually stunning, and he's uh, quite a spectacle, especially when he flies out of the yard. And so, um, on the website, there are very many videos of the live, real Henry uh, that you can view. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, anyway, he had been there for a couple years and really enjoying him. Uh, friends and family that would come over, if they were there early enough, they could actually see him get fed. And um, it was just really amazing part of nature that was coming into our backyard that we were very much enjoying. Mm -hmm. So. Um, there was two ducks that started to come to the backyard seasonally, just fly in randomly. And so watching Henry kind of negotiate the ducks, that was basically his pond and his yard. And so that kind of started the storytelling of him. Mm -hmm. um, that really kind of started the storytelling of him, wondering what was going through his head, uh, where does he go, um, where does he live, is he a boy? Mm -hmm. um, and that sort mm -hmm. of thing. So it naturally became a, a book. It sounds like a, you know, a, a, I could see how you could make that connection with the book. Yeah. Now, some of the proceeds you, you uh, from the book, you say, go to Shepherd's Gate. Is that right? Yes, so, they do. Um, I've yeah. been volunteering at Shepherd's Gate in the daycare center for the last, uh, it's going on three years now. Mm -hmm. And that was kind of happening simultaneously, uh, observing Henry and nature and being a part of that, and then reading a lot of books to the children mm -hmm. and starting to think, you know, I, I think mm -hmm. I could do this. And he is a very interesting story. Sure. Uh, so yeah. I just wanted to share that. Well, thank you, Sandra. Thank you. I'm, I wish we had a little more time to talk about, about Henry. And <laughs> we wish you luck. And keep us posted on how he's doing. Thank okay. you very and much good for luck having with the, me. With the book sales and, and the donations. Thank, thank you, so you much. Jim. Okay. And thanks for being with us on In a Word. We'll see you next time. If you'd like to purchase a copy of today's show, visit our website at trivalleytv.org.